Keith Thurman keep talking this fight bud in eight months and this, that, and the third. You need to fight first. I like to talk about what is, man. What is, not the hypotheticals. So if Keith Thurman going to really, if we, if we already know how he moved. We know the next time we see Keith in the ring, it's not going to be against Spence Carr. It's going to be some, in his mind, a tune-up fight. I know the perfect fight for Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman should fight Adrian Broner. And I've been said this. I've been said this. Okay, I think about that. Because A.B. got a mouthpiece. He still could sell a fight. Mm -hmm. He still sure can. And you give him enough time to get in shape. Not only can he... Um, he still... He's not no pushover for anybody. It's still A.B. The way I view it. But he on the down end of his career. And unfortunately, Keith Thurman, he only got one loss. But he's in a... Broner is on the downwards end of his career. And Keith Thurman is out of position in his career. Uh -huh. He's been so inactive. He don't know what move to make to become relevant again. Uh, yeah. 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 And unfortunately, when he was in position... He was moving a certain way that probably developed resentment. Earl Spence probably like, nigga, you ain't trying to give me no opportunity when you had both the belts. Fuck you. Right. Beg. Right. Or go become relevant. Mm -hmm. Those is only two options for him. Because he's not relevant and he haven't kept himself relevant since his last fight. And time ain't going to wait for him. Nope. The world want to see Earl versus Bud. Period. Yeah. But we got to see how shit play out, meaning I ain't going I'm being a realistic boxing fan. We know the games they play. Mm -hmm. And we got to work with them sometimes. Okay, we get it. Realistically, no matter what we say, the money might not be in place just yet for Earl versus Bud. Right. I get it. So can we at least get meaningful fights? Yeah. What happened to the meaningful fights? If y'all got confidence, let the world know. The goal is to make Earl versus Bud. But in order for us to get Earl versus Bud, we need to see Bud versus Thurman, Earl versus Uga. These motherfuckers need tune-up fights. Okay, let's get, it on, get on it. You need to fight at the top of the year. Keep Thurman. You need to fight Broner. That way you could be ready by June. Uh -huh. That way you could fuck with Bud by June, July. Bud, if you get rid of Keith Thurman, you should be ready by uh, for Earl by November of next year. Let's get this shit rolling. For real. Keith Thurman needs to get ready for Adrian Broner. Put a card together. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Put a card together. Let's go. Make it happen. Put a card together. Let's go. Because... I like to be entertained. Mm -hmm. Keith Thurman versus Adrian Broner is a good fight. Nah, it really is. It really is. Because if I'm mistaken, I, I want to say both of their last fights was to Pacquiao. I think so. I think Broner had one fight after that. We got to look that up, man. Who is Adrian Broner's last opponent? Hey, we, Siri. Who was Adrian Broner's last opponent? One moment. Watch out, vehicle on shoulder ahead. Working on that. Come on, Siri. No, Keith Thurman's last opponent for sure was Manny Pacquiao, July of 2019. You know how long that's been? He's been out of the ring for over two years. You know how serious that is in boxing restaurant? No, that's serious. Everybody, not Sugar Ray, fight one fight in five years and go straight to Hagler. That's why I'm telling these niggas not cut from the same claw.
Who is that? Manny Pacquiao. That's yeah. his last opponent? Uh huh. That's the build. February 2019. Yeah. That's the build up. Mm -hmm. Adrian Broner and Keith Thurman both lost to Manny Pacquiao. Yeah. Both of them last fight was to Manny Pacquiao. Both of them could break. I would, I'm so boxing. Make them do a breakdown. I want Broner to break down what Pacquiao did to Thurman. And I want Thurman to break down what Pacquiao did to Broner. And what can they do against each other. It's so much dynamics. And Pacquiao is a legend. You put his name in the build up. It rakes in. Nah, for real. You invite Pacquiao to the fight. Yeah. Hey, Pacquiao, he lost, but you still show him love. He was just willing to give Earl Spence a chance. He just fought Ukas on short notice. Uh -huh. Pacquiao, can we get some footage of you? Whatever you need, treat Pacquiao like a boxing king. Fly that nigga in town. Let him for do some. Fight. Let him do his press with the presidential shit for the Philippines. Fuck it. Uh -huh. Let him do that for his American fan base. And you ask him, you fought both of these people, Pacquiao. What, you know, analyze the fight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the fight to be made, man. Yeah. They And look at this, best friend. They both talk shit. Yeah, they both talk shit. They both talk cash shit. And to be relevant, let's say Keith Thurman beats Broner. We get it. it it's not a statement like if you would have fought the young Boost Ennis and all that. But... But, but, how you beat Broner can make a statement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keith Thurman has to go into the fight with Broner. I'm going to be the first one to knock him out. I'm going to be so vicious. And right after that, it's going to be so much shit back and forth. It's going to be, we know the black people going to tune in for that fight. Yeah. That's going to be an entertaining draw. They could draw it. They could have a draw with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People going to tune in. I know I will be tuning in to see that. Because I know whoever loses is eliminated from boxing. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever loses is going to have a, a hell of a humility. Mm -hmm. They will be humble as far as what they meant to the sport of boxing in this generation. Yeah. If Broner lose, it's your last hurrah. Mm -hmm. Salute Broner. He fought everybody. Mm -hmm. And his, you know who he could possibly fight. But it's over. Thurman, if you lose to Broner, you're definitely done. Done. Your time is up. Your time is up. You're out of shape. You ain't disciplined. But if you beat him and beat him convincingly and beat him up, mm -hmm. that's enough momentum. To at least call out, um, call out the buds and the Crawford because what you're doing is this, Thurman. A lot of people that love or hate Broner is a lot of hip hop casuals that don't really keep up with the sport, but they keep up with AB because whether say what you want to say about AB, he stayed plugged into the hip hop fan base. Yeah. So he's going to draw, even with fighting Keith Thurman, casual hip-hop fan base mm -hmm. that ain't going to know the politics of how your ass been off for two years. Right. And right. if you beat Broner, they're going to be like, damn, this nigga like that. Shit, didn't we just see the nigga Bud fight? Mm -hmm. That'd be a good fight. Yeah. And they'll forget about it. I know what I'm talking about. Thurman needs to fight Broner. Period. And Broner, if Broner beats Keith Thurman, that's a hell of a victory for him because Broner is a. Th and, and listen to me, AB. Listen to me, AB. This is a big fight for you, AB. Because if you fight Keith Thurman, it's no excuse. Both of you niggas been all two years. Yeah. Both of you niggas been all two years. And both of you niggas is still a name. And both of you have something to lose. So both of you will put in on your best effort to make an exciting fight. Yeah. And AB, you a three division champion. You get Thurman on your resume. 
a guy who beat Sean Porter, who you lost to, a guy who beat Danny Garcia, who's a, a two-division champion. You would beat a guy who was a former unified champion. That's a hell of a name to put on your resume, resume AB, because you're going for legacy at this point. You out of position, my homie. Yeah. You're not lined up for no big championship fight, but go ahead and beat Thurman and call the nigga out. I bet AB... Uh, A.B. could get a big fight just off his name if he beat Keith Thurman. A.B. could get a big fight with anybody if he beat Keith Thurman just off of his name. That's who we got to fight. That's who we got to fight, and that's what we building up. That's what we building up. We going to be the ones to do it. We're going to promote Keith Thurman versus Boner, period. The title, Keith Thurman need a tune up, call AB. Yeah. Keith Thurman need a tune up, call AB. Shout out to the whole LDBC, Blunt Rap Sports TV. This is Step Boogie, and I'm with the Blunt Rap First Lady. Lola Love. Donate to the cash shop, money sign, Blunt Rap ENT. Follow us on IG, at Blunt Rap ENT. Follow Step Boogie on IG at step underscore FTP and follow the Blunt Rap First Lady at Miss Lola Love. Miss Dot Lola Love IG.